Uh, Philip Kautler is co-founder and CEO of Paper, a Montreal-based educational technology company. Paper's getting pretty big. It's raised more than $350 million, serves more than 2.5 million students. Uh, Cutler got his start as an educator. He started his first real business in college to help his fellow student teachers get the required instructional hours working as tutors. He found the students online and took a cut of the revenue. I figured out how to make a buck. You know, I wanted to pay for my my education. Um, you know, and and this ended up growing into a business that that allowed me to to sort of um, pay for a lot of the stuff I wanted to do in university and college. Um, and so it ended up growing to being a relatively successful business. But again, we were servicing typically wealthier families, right, who were paying fifty, sixty dollars an hour for private tutoring. And it was only once I was actually in the classroom as a teacher that I realized that those students were quite well serviced. There were so many choices available to them. And I was like, wait a second, we need to solve the other, you know, we need to solve for the other 80 to 90 percent. And now with paper, he's working to do that by using software at scale. School districts buy paper to give students additional help and give teachers insight so that they can target instruction. So how's all that affected by the economic slowdown? Well, Cutler told me paper raised a lot of funding before capital dried up. And because his customers are mostly government, demand for him is more stable. The difference for us is that, um, you know, a lot of the other enterprise businesses are much more impacted by some of the global, mac like the macroeconomic climate that impacts, you know, all, a lot of the, the international business. Um, in our case, that's not so, it's not so clear that that's hitting schools the same way, just because of the way that they're, they're funded. They have several years of funding visibility. So it's not so much that they're seeing, um, you know, that, that spending is going to change. I think the prioritization is what's actually changing. Um, they're still going to be making those same purchases. It just may not be um, the same order of priority that it was 18, 24 months ago. So a couple of broader lessons for investors here. One, even in tough times, some companies are better capitalized, have flexibility. Two, some technology companies that have domestic government business might have more predictable revenue than others, especially if they're providing tools seen as essential. And uh, I talked to the Secretary of Education, Miguel Cardona, just last week about the nation's report card and those low scores. And he said, well, technology's got to be employed to help catch up. One question. In the services, my kids have just recently left public school for private school. In public school, those sort of tutoring services that were provided to all kids were funded by the Parent Teacher Association. How is it that school districts can afford this kind of service if they don't have active, invested parent teacher associations to raise the money? Well, in the case of paper, you've got whole school districts, including LAUSD, which is like the second biggest right. in the country, investing in this, paying for this, so that all students have access to it. So it's not a kind of per school access to software. It's district wide and then teachers ideally can be trained on it and they got to show the outcomes. I, I, well, I was going to ask then what do the outcomes show? Like when you have it, do, does it show a trajectory where the students are making up lost time? It does do that. And it shows teachers in the out of class time where students are struggling, what they're taking more time on, what they might need to focus in more on. Because especially during COVID, you ended up with students maybe who did a little better at home, who had more help, those that didn't. So now teachers have to differentiate instruction, which is really hard, even more than they did before. Yeah.